electronic calculator was the Physicum Le 120 a handy, which was marketed only in 1971.37, made in Japan. This was also the first calculator to use an LED display, the first handheld calculator to use a single integrated circuit, then proclaimed as a calculator on a chip, the most MK6010, and the first electronic calculator to run off replaceable batteries. Using four A size cells, the Le 120A measures 4.9 by 2.8 by 0.9 inches. 124 mm, 71 mm, 23 mm. The first European made pocket sized calculator, DB838, 39, was made in May 1971 by Digitron in Buc, Croatia, former Yugoslavia, with four functions and an eight digit display and special characters for a negative number and a warning that the calculation has too many digits to display. The first American made pocket sized calculator, the Bomar 901B, popularly termed the Bomar Brain, measuring 5.2 by 3.0 by 1.5 inches. 132 mm 76 mm 38 mm came out in the autumn of 1971 with four functions and an eight digit red lead display for US dollar 240 while in August 1972 the four function Sinclair executive became the first slimline pocket calculator measuring 5.4 by 2.2 by 0.35 inches 137.2 mm 55.9 mm 8.9 mm and weighing 2.5 ounces 71 g it retailed for around 79 pounds us dollar 194 at the time by the end of the decade similar calculators were priced less than five pounds six dollars and 38 cents Following protracted development over the course of two years including a botched partnership with Texas Instruments, Eldorado Electrodata released five pocket calculators in 1972. One called the Touch Magic was no bigger than a pack of cigarettes according to administrative management. 40. The first Soviet Union made pocket-sized calculator, the Electronica B3-04-41 was developed by the end of 1973 and sold at the start of 1974. One of the first low-cost calculators was the Sinclair Cambridge, launched in August 1973. It retailed for £29.95, $38.23, or £5, $6.38, less in kit form. The Sinclair calculators were successful because they were far cheaper than the competition, however, their design led to slow and inaccurate computations of transcendental functions. 42. Meanwhile, Hewlett Packard, HP, had been developing a pocket calculator. Launched in early 1972, it was unlike the other basic four-function pocket calculators then available in that it was the first pocket calculator with scientific functions that could replace a slide rule. The $395 HP 35, along with nearly all later HP engineering calculators, uses reverse Polish notation, RPN, also called post-fix notation. A calculation like 8 plus 5 is, using RPN, performed by pressing 8, enter, 5, and plus, instead of the algebraic in fixed notation, 8, plus, 5, equals. It had 35 buttons and was based on most MK6020 chip. The first Soviet scientific pocket sized calculator, the B3 18, was completed by the end of 1975. In 1973, Texas Instruments T, introduced the SR10, SR signifying slide rule, an algebraic entry pocket calculator using scientific notation for $150. Shortly after the SR11 featured an added key for entering pi, pi. 
It was followed the next year by the SR50 which added log and trig functions to compete with the HP35, and in 1977 the mass-marketed T30 line which is still produced. In 1978, a new company, Calculated Industries arose which focused on specialized markets. Their first calculator, the Lone Arranger, 43, 1978, was a pocket calculator marketed to the real estate industry with pre-programmed functions to simplify the process of calculating payments and future values. In 1985, CI launched a calculator for the construction industry called the Construction Master, 44, which can pre-programmed with common construction calculations, such as angles, stairs, roofing math, pitch, rise run, and feet inch fraction conversions. This would be the first in a line of construction related calculators. Adler 81S pocket calculator with vacuum fluorescent display, VFD, from the mid 1970s. The Casio Centimeter 602 min electronic calculator provide a basic functions in the 1970s. The 1972 Sinclair Executive A Pocket Calculator. The HP 35, the world's first scientific pocket calculator by Hewlett Packard, 1972. Programmable pocket calculators. The first programmable pocket calculator was the HP 65. In 1974, it had a capacity of 100 instructions and could store and retrieve programs with a built-in magnetic card reader. Two years later the HP 25 s introduced continuous memory, i.e., programs and data were retained in close memory during power off. In 1979, HP released the first alphanumeric, programmable, expandable calculator, the HP 41C. It could be expanded with random access memory, RAM, for memory, and read-only memory, ROM, for software, modules, and peripherals like barcode readers, microcassette and floppy disk drives, paper roll thermal printers, and miscellaneous communication interfaces, RS-232, HPIL, HPIB. The first Soviet pocket battery-powered programmable calculator, Electronica B3-21 was developed by the end of 1976 and released at the start of 1977.45. The successor of B3-21, the Electronica B3-34 wasn't backward. Compatible with B3-21, even if it kept the reverse Polish notation, RPN. Thus B3-34 defined a new command set which later was used in a series of later programmable Soviet calculators. Despite very limited abilities, 98 bytes of instruction memory and about 19 stack and addressable registers, people. The HP 65, the first programmable pocket calculator, 1974, managed to write all kinds of programs for them including adventure games and libraries of calculus-related functions for engineers. Hundreds, perhaps thousands, of programs were written for these machines, from practical scientific and business software which were used in real-life offices and labs, to fun games for children. The Electronica MK52 calculator, using the extended B3-34 command set, and featuring internal EEPROM memory for storing programs and external interface for EEPROM cards and of the periphery, was used in Soviet spacecraft program, for Soyuz TM-7 flight, as a backup of the board computer. This series of calculators was also noted for a large number of highly counterintuitive mysterious undocumented features somewhat similar to synthetic programming of the American HP-41 which were exploited by applying normal arithmetic operations to error messages, jumping to non-existent addresses and other methods. A number of respected monthly publications, including the popular science magazine Norka Iges, Science and Life, featured special columns, 
dedicated to optimization methods for calculator programmers and updates on undocumented features for hackers, which grew into a whole esoteric science with many branches, named Yegogology. The error messages on those calculators appear as a Russian word Yegog, which, unsurprisingly, is translated to error. A similar hacker culture in the USA revolved around the HP 41 which was also noted for a large number of undocumented features and was much more powerful than B3-34. Technical improvements. A calculator which runs on solar and battery power through the 1970s the handheld electronic calculator underwent rapid development. The red LED and blue forward slash green vacuum fluorescent displays consumed a lot of power and the calculators either had a short battery life, often measured in hours, so rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries were common, or were so that they could take larger, higher capacity batteries. In the early 1970s liquid crystal displays, LCDs, were in their infancy and there was a great deal of concern that they only had a short operating lifetime. Bizicom introduced the Bizicom Le 120 a handy calculator, the first pocket-sized calculator and the first with an LED display, and announced the Bizicom LC with LCD. However, there were problems with this display and the calculator never went on sale. The first successful calculators with LCDs were manufactured by Rockwell International and sold from 1972 by other companies under such names as Dataking LC800 Hard and DT Forward Slash 12, Ibico 086, Lloyds 40, Lloyds 100, Prismatic 500, aka P500, Rapid Data Rapidman 1208 LC. The LCDs were an early form using the dynamic scattering mode DSM with the numbers appearing as bright against a dark background. To present a high contrast display these models illuminated the LCD using a filament lamp and solid plastic light guide, which negated the low power consumption of the display. These models appear to have been sold only for a year or two. A more successful series of calculators using a reflective DSM LCD was launched in 1972 by Sharp Inc. with the Sharp L805, which was a slim pocket calculator. This, and another few similar models, used Sharp's calculator on substrate, COS, technology an extension of one glass plate needed for the liquid. Crystal display was used as a substrate to mount the needed chips based on a new hybrid technology. The COS technology may have been too costly since it was only used in a few models before Sharp reverted to conventional circuit boards. Credit card sized, solar powered calculator by Braun, 1987 model pocket calculator with solar and battery powering in the mid-1970s the first calculators appeared with field effect twisted pneumatic TN LCDs with dark numerals against a grey background though the early ones often had a yellow filter over them to cut out damaging ultraviolet rays the advantage of LCDs is that they are passive light modulators reflecting light which require much less power than light-emitting displays such as LEDs or VFDs. This led the way to the first credit card-sized calculators such as the Casio Mini Card LC78 of 1978, which could run for months of normal use on button cells. There were also improvements to the electronics inside the calculators. All of the logic functions of a calculator had been squeezed into the first calculator on a chip integrated circuits, ICS, in 1971, but this was leading edge technology of the time and yields were low and costs were high. Many calculators continued to use two or more ICS, especially the scientific and the programmable ones into the late 1970s. The power consumption of the integrated circuits was also reduced especially with the introduction of CMOS technology. A peer engine the Sharp L801 in 1972, 
the transistors in the logic cells of CMOSICS only used any appreciable power when they changed state. The LED and VFD displays often required added driver transistors or ICS, whereas the LCDs were more amenable to being driven directly by the calculator IC itself. With this low power consumption came the possibility of using solar cells as the power source, realized around 1978 by calculators such as the Royal Solar One, Sharp L8026, and Teal Photon. The interior of a Casio FX20 scientific calculator from Themid 1970s, using a VFD. The processor integrated circuit, IC, is made by NEC. Discrete electronic components like capacitors and resistors and the IC are mounted on a printed circuit board, PCB. This calculator uses a battery pack as a power source. The processor chip integrated circuit package inside a 1981 sharp pocket calculator marked sc 6762 1h an lcd is direct lie under the chip this was apt bless design no discrete components are used the battery compartment at the top can hold two button cells Inside a Casio scientific calculator from the mid-1990s showing the processor chip, small square, top middle, left, keypad contacts, right, with matching contacts on the left, the back of the LCD, top marked 4L102E, battery compartment, and other components. The solar cell assembly is under the chip. The interior of a newer, CA.2000, pocket calculator. It uses a button battery in combination with a solar cell. The processor is a chip on board type covered with dark epoxy. Mass market phase. At the start of the 1970s, handheld electronic calculators were very costly, at two or three weeks wages and so were a luxury item. The high price was due to their construction requiring many mechanical and electronic components which were costly to produce, and production runs that were too small to exploit economies of scale. Many firms saw that there were good profits to be made in the calculator business with margin on such high prices. However, the cost of calculators fell as components and their production methods improved and the effect of economies of scale was felt. By 1976, the cost of the cheapest four-function pocket calculator had dropped to a few dollars, about one forward slash twenty of the cost five years before. The results of this were that the pocket calculator was affordable, and that it was now difficult for the manufacturers to make a profit from calculators, leading to many firms dropping out of the business or closing. The firms that survived making calculators tended to be those with high outputs of higher quality calculators, or producing high specification scientific and programmable calculators. Mid 1980s to present. The Electronica MK52 was a programmable RPN style calculator that accepted extension modules. It was manufactured in the Soviet Union from 1985 to 1992. The first calculator capable of symbolic computing was the HP 28C, released in 1987. It could, for example, solve quadratic questions symbolically. The first graphing calculator was the Kasiovsk 7000G, released in 1985. The two leading manufacturers. HP and T, released increasingly feature-laden calculators during the 1980s and 1990s. At the turn of millennium, the line between a graphing calculator and a handheld computer was not always clear, as some very advanced calculators such as the T89, the Voyage 200 and HP 49G could differentiate and integrate functions solve differential equations run word processing and PIM software, and connect by wire or wire to other calculators forward slash computers. The HP 12C financial calculator is still produced.
It was introduced in 1981 and is still being made with few changes. The HP-12 featured the reverse Polish notation mode of data entry. In 2003 several new models were released including an improved version of the HP-12C, the HP-12C Platinum Edition which added more memory more built-in functions, and the addition of the algebra.